this Saturday morning. Hope you're all enjoying your weekend so far and enjoyed that sleep in. Robbie Musto, Tim Howard, Rebecca Lowe. I mentioned that Chelsea-Arsenal match there. Arsenal is where we're going to start today because the story of the week happened on Monday. The sporting director of Arsenal, Edu, resigning from his post, possibly to take up a similar role at Nottingham Forest under Evangelis Maranakis. We'll get to that in a minute. This is what Edu said, though, on Monday. This was an incredibly hard decision to make. Arsenal's given me the opportunity to work with so many amazing people and the chance to be part of something so special in the club's history. It's been a special journey, and I thank Stan, Josh, Tim, and Lord Harris for the support they've given me. I've loved working with so many great colleagues across our men's, women's, and academy teams, especially Mikel, who's become a great friend. Now it's time to pursue a different challenge. Arsenal will always remain in my heart. I wish the club and its supporters only good things and all the very best. Edu has been at Arsenal, Robbie, since 2019, so five years. Mm. Is it a bit of a strange time to leave? Well, I think um, when you think about the timing, he has to serve out a six-month uh, notice period, gardening leave, you know, where he can't work for anybody else. That kind of goes into kind of April or whatever, ready for the summer window. So that's probably why, because I thought the same thing. Like, well, why now in the middle of a season? But six months... For his new venture, whether it is Nottingham Forest or that group of clubs, then he'd be ready to do some work in the summer window. But it's still a shock. And it's still, I've got to say, a little bit destabilising because those two have been immense. Like, when you look at the Arsenal team right now, it's been built with Mikel Arteta and Edu suggesting players. I mean, it's full of very, very good signings, plus all the work he's done over the years to get rid of players that weren't right or that they're getting older or their bad attitude. Thinking of Aubameyang and Erdzil and, and uh, Lacazette and a few others. He's done a superb job. And the thing that interests me going forward is that, remember that Mikel Arteta went from a head coach to a manager. Mm -hmm. So the sense was that Edu and, and Arteta were kind of on a very similar power in terms of who they were going to sign. Now, I don't know if there's something that's gone wrong with that, but the next person, Rebecca, is in effect... Arteta's boss or is he? Because they can have a similar... So the power thing might be something to watch out for. I would suspect that Arteta's going to be the man that's going to decide on the transfers more than a new sporting director, but that, that's going to be fun... Well, interesting well, to watch. Which is interesting, because that's actually going against what most clubs are doing right. now. They're actually trying the to take a is, little bit of pressure yeah. away from the manager, a little bit of mm -hmm. decision-making. Tim, we've been told by Mikel Arteta and Edu about the process, yeah. about the project <laughs> at Arsenal. Does Edu leaving show a lack of faith in the project by him? Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's such an interesting question because there's a lot behind the scenes that we're trying to kind of pick the bones out of. It, they've, they've showed a united front. They've always talked to us and other people who would listen about how that process is, is nearly perfect. They get their signings right. They try not to overspend. They have ideas about players. It's all similar. So we've really never seen any, any type of rift. I haven't seen any type of rift. Um, to me, it, it only suggests when I when I look at all the pieces that we have. Um, look, I think the more you have, the more you want, and I ultimately think Adu probably wants more power. You know, that, whether whether that be within the hierarchy of of the Cronky Arsenal ladder, has he been passed over? Does he want more there? Is Mikel Arteta starting to you know? It used to be perfect. Now does Mikel have more say? And if he does, Adu can simply say, okay, no problem. I know how to build a football club. I can go somewhere else mm -hmm. with a lot more money and or, you know get, get a lot more money for myself. They have very similar resources. So it's an interesting, very interesting one. But, Rob, you don't leave if you think your team and your club's going to win the title. Oh, you're at Arsenal. I mean, he played there. Relationship with Arteta was always very solid. They're, they're progressing. You know, we expect them to really to fight. And a lot of people, including both of us, I um, think they're going to win the title or, or did. Mm -hmm. um, so why would you leave? I don't know. This, this project's different, maybe more reaching, like Tim says. Let's talk about maybe CEO of, of the group of clubs. It's a multi-club. He wants multi to be, I think, head of it's, global it's football. three right now. And, and another Olympiacos, uh, uh, a club in Portugal, and a Nottingham Forest. Forest. Yeah. But is that not still a step down? From Arsenal? Well, it is in terms of the stature of the football clubs, but just maybe um, the, his responsibilities over more sure. clubs. Maybe he, 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 he's less... You know, I read that he's going to be less hands-on in one club. He'll be overseeing. Yeah. He can live where he wants to live. He can travel around the world a little bit more. So, yeah. And I think the report says the salary's quite high as well. Which <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> might that have turns ahead. With it. That does turn ahead. Uh, Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host of NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And if you want even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock.